Stealing from anyone is wrong, but stealing from a church, that is just about as low as it gets. A local congregation wiped clean of their collections. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Waddell. And I'm Guy Atchley. Let's go straight to Nine on Your Side's Craig Smith, who is live in the newsroom. Guy, you know when it comes to crime stories, stories you often want to say is nothing sacred. What's the world coming to? Well, that really applies to this one. You'd expect most of the people who come here to know the Ten Commandments, but someone who slipped in well after the service ignored the one that says, Thou shalt not steal. I thought that they were ashamed of what they had done, you know, especially in the house of God. And somebody comes to the house of the Lord and steals the money that was here. That money was the Sunday collections and perhaps other money too. Money parishioners may have stretched to share to maintain the church and its works. The church is St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church on North Shannon. As sheriff's deputies investigate, they're not sharing details of what they know so far. One of those cases where something, if, if you know it, you're a suspect? Pretty much. That's what we're thinking. That's what we're hoping for. The hurt, the shock, the anger, the outrage are something this church has experienced before. This same church was hit about two years ago. That burglary was also a Monday, right after the Sunday collections. The Catholic Diocese of Tucson says in the last two years, six of its churches have been hit, some of them two and three times, by thieves who seem to find nothing sacred but money. Now, a couple of people we talked to today mentioned if someone's in so much need, they're prepared to steal, the church would work to help them. But stealing from the church makes all that harder. Craig, thank you.